Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Ali. My name is AJ, and here we are on Don't Starve. Now, before we start, I have played this game before. I played it back when I think it was in beta. It was very basic back then. There wasn't really much to it. I really enjoyed the game, though. It's got aspects of sort of Minecraft in it because it's got crafting, but it's sort of very dark, very evil, and very, very hard. And it's got an awful lot harder since... Uh, I've played it. Now, I haven't played it since I played it over a year ago. It must be over a year ago now since I last played it. I've just downloaded uh, the new patches for it. It's just been sitting on my computer and never it's ever been touched, never updated or anything. So uh, I expect things are going to look a little bit different uh, to what they used to. We've only got the one character here. Now, I'm going to have to presume that you guys know... Uh, well, that you've either seen, heard, or played Don't Starve before. I'm going to try and go through uh, as newbie as possible because I am very, very newbie at this and I can't see me being that incredibly good at it. I do have a basic premise of what everything does and how to use everything, but some of the stuff that has been put in the game since I was around is certainly going to change the whole game to me. Um, so basically, with this little guy here that's laying on the floor, and this guy's very, very evil guy that we never really see again. Um, I can't really talk too much on this first day because we need to really start, like, collecting some stuff. Uh, collecting saplings, collecting food, collecting grass, uh, chopping down trees. We need to find some flint as soon as possible. I'm going to zoom out my map. Um... Oh, berries. Berries we can eat. Uh, basically, it's like Minecraft in the fact that we have to survive um, desperately. And it's a not an easy game. It is an incredibly difficult game um, that we're going to struggle badly with. There's a rabbit there that we'll be able to catch later on, hopefully. Oh, some grass and some more berries. Oh, and I see some carrots and a flint up there. This looks like a pretty good green land to start off with, for sure. Um... As you can see on the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see it's day one uh, in the middle of the little clock there. And that little clock, when it's in the yellow part, it's going to be daytime. When it's in the red part, that's sort of like, I'm going to save this part because this is going to be where we're going to sleep tonight. I do, however, need to get enough stuff for a camp. We need some logs and some more, some more grass. Let me just grab some grass. We need enough stuff for a fire by tonight. Otherwise, we are going to be in serious trouble. Um... I can make a torch, I need a fire, so I need some logs, which means I need an axe. I can make an axe. Let's go and chop down some trees and collect any sort of berries around here. There's a bee up there. There's so much for me to try and talk about on this first episode that I'm going to do a really bad job of it and not end, and end up not explaining anything whatsoever. Um, all you've got to do is sort of remember that this is Minecraft without the building ability. Uh, that's sort of the best way to really put it. Collect everything that you can in the daytime, because as soon as it gets to this um, dark blue bit, the red bit is going to be nighttime, but not too dark. The blue bit is going to be absolutely horrendously dark, so pitch black that you're not going to be able to see a single thing. This here, our stomach is how hungry we are, the heart is how much health we've got, and the brain is what our sanity is. Oops, I put some petals, that doesn't matter too much. Let's grab this carrot. Uh, this is similar to Minecraft in the fact that it's sort of basically an endless world. If I have a look at the map here, um, map is tab. Um, so it's going to generate up as we travel around. There's a lot of berries here. Um, food though, food is going to be our number one priority. There is a bee here, but I haven't seemed to have found a beehive yet. Everything is dangerous, okay? In the daytime, we're relatively safe. As safe as we can possibly really be. However, night time, all the bad things come out. Like, that's a spider nest right here. And when I say bad things, I don't mean, like, the occasional Minecraft zombie. Ah! Like this. No, run away. Run, 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 run. Kill him, kill him. Oh, no. This isn't a good thing that I want to do on the first day. Run away. Run away. Oh, no. Run away. This isn't good. This is my first try for a long time. <laughs> Oh man, this is not gonna go well. Is I want those berries. No, let me get the berries. Let me get the berries. Berries are important to me. Berries are very important to me. No, don't grab those. F attack. <laughs> okay, 
We're doing well. We're doing okay. Let's grab these. We're getting towards the night time now, so we're going to have to make sure that we are completely prepped and ready. Now, this spider meat that we've been getting, we can eat if we get very, very desperate. The only problem is that eating that monster meat uh, is going to seriously harm us health-wise. It's not the greatest thing to eat. Before, I'm going to set up base up there for the moment. Oh, there's a turkey. Okay, we are getting dark. Um, there's a turkey up here. Don't eat my berries, turkey. Is there a turkey? Where'd the turkey go? I saw him go somewhere. Turkeys, the, the, the animals in the game, for example, the, um, the rabbits and the turkeys, we can catch, we can catch rabbits. You can also burn them with a torch, but they're not easy. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do. Um, there are sort of biomes in this game as well. As you can see, we're in sort of a green one. There's sort of a darker one up there. Our sanity is starting to drop now that it's dark. Our little character doesn't like the dark. While it is night time, though, I'm just collecting what I can before it gets super dark. Uh, but while it's night time, I can actually spend a little bit of time going through all the crafting stuff that we can do uh, and all the type of stuff that we can make once we sort of get set up a little bit. Again, I am saying this is, the, as you saw, there's no save data. I had no other worlds saved where I've been practicing. This really is my first time for a long, long time. That's going to run out. Okay, our axe has just run out. It's got durability, um, like Minecraft weapons, in a way. I'm comparing this game to Minecraft as much as I can, just because I know that you guys um, are very Minecraft orientated, and you guys know everything to do with Minecraft, so it's the easiest way to sort of compare things. Okay, we're getting dark, we're getting dark. I'm keeping a very close eye on that time. Um, there's that spider nest. You know, I think I'm going to set up camp just here for now. We're just going to make a small one. Small little fire. This will, once this burns out, it's gone. And we can keep this fire by adding fuel to it. And uh, let's make another axe. Just so I can collect up a bit more wood. We've got 11 wood down here. This is our inventory, by the way. This is our weapon and weapon durability. Each hit will take away a percentage. The one next to it is our armor. The one next to it is our hat. We can make different hats depending on uh, the situation. We can make hats to help us do certain things. We can make hats to help us prevent certain things. Uh, a lot of different things. So let me let me just collect up what we can while I can see. Oh, I picked up some more pe petals. Petals are good to pick up because petals will um, um, raise your sanity. Because our sanity is dropping at night time. Which isn't a great thing. Okay, we're now getting really dark. Look, this is this is all we can go. If we go out into this area, I'll just show you very quickly. It's so dark. He gets scared. We'll start seeing really crazy things, really bad things uh, that we don't really want to be seeing. I'm going to cook these berries because we'll be able to eat these. Cook, cook, keep our food up. And then I'm going to go through what we can craft. Sorry if I'm not explaining this too well. But this is one of these games that you need to concentrate on at the beginning. You need to really work hard getting your stuff all prepped and ready uh, for the next day. Oops. So I'm going to eat some of these. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. So in the tools here, there's many, many different tools that we can make. Uh, razors. This razor will shave your dirty beatnik beard and we'll grow a beard over time and I think we can use the hair from our beard to give us another life because this is sort of like Minecraft hardcore mode once you die that's it the world is gone um, end of story that's as simple as it gets light we've got a permanent fit pit fire when we want to set up a permanent base traps here these will come in very very handy we can catch rabbits with these once we find a bit more of a, a deserty area where it'll become a lot better bird trap compass Backpack. That's a pretty good one to do because we can carry more stuff. But we need a science machine to be able to build that. Okay, while it's daytime, I'm going to get cracking. I want to find a desert. We're going to head down because there seems to be some more berries and food uh, if we head straight down here. We want to really find a desert for a couple of reasons. Deserts can be very, very useful. Uh, for one, for uh, rabbits and grass. These are the little rabbit hole here. Um, we'll find a lot of rabbits uh, in the desert area, a lot of grass in the desert area. 
And uh, another handy thing about deserts is that we might potentially come across a thing called buffaloes. Oh, um, are they called buffaloes? I think they're called buffaloes. I thought they have a silly name on here. Something like buffalo, I think it is. I don't, I don't think it's actually called a buffalo. Uh, but something along those lines. And we can use those for various different reasons. There's a dead end down here, some ocean, which is why I'm going this way. We can use buffaloes for... Um, food if we really get desperate but we don't really want to do that because they don't respawn like other mobs do on Minecraft for example um, but we can use them we can shear them make them naked for clothings and tents and stuff like that and we can also pick up their poo um, they will actually drop manure which we can use to farm uh, better stuff to get more food um, this doesn't look great this is all coastline. We need to go somewhere where there's a little bit more land. That bunny there, we've got no chance of catching until we get a, a trap. We've got some carrots here which we can use as bait uh, to bait the trap to make it a little bit more likely that we'll catch one. A lot of trees around here. We've got enough wood for tonight. I don't mind spending a day exploring. Please don't be an island. Please don't be an island. This would be terrible if this is an island. Another rabbit here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get him. Get him. Why isn't he attacking? Oh. Oh. Oh, a desert. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This will be a great area for rabbits. As you can see, there is a lot here. This looks like the smallest desert in the world, though. This is tiny. I keep pressing M for map because I'm used to Skyrim. Okay. Nope. Uh, oh, it looks like it might continue on this way. Let's collect some stuff while we're here. Might be a relatively okay place to set up camp for now. Aha! This is another thing that we wanted. Boulders. We'll be able to make rocks with these. Or we'll get rocks out of them. There's another type of boulder in the game as well, which we'll be able to get gold from. And once we get gold, we'll be able to make a science machine, which... Let me have a look. It's right here. So we need some rocks, and we need a gold nugget. Whoops. Paused. I didn't mean to do that. But we can do that. Oh, no! Oh, God. Whatever you do, do not press that. Um... There's a <laughs> button Q and button E uh, will change and uh, spin around your um, view, your map, and you do not want to do that on this game. You will get disorientated. This this is all about knowing your way home no matter where you are, looking for sort of landmarks, hidden things. There's a turkey. There he is. If we can get him to the coast, we might be able to kill him. That's how I used to do it back in the day. There's a coastline up here. If we can get him trapped in a coastline bit, we might be able to kill him. But they're not easy to kill him. We've only got an axe as a weapon. But we'll go for it. We'll see if we can. We've got a little bit of time left in the day. No, don't eat. Uh, no. This isn't going to go well, is it? Nope. We ain't ever going to get him. I'm going to leave him. <laughs> Okay, so while we're here, survival, let's... I need to always make sure that we've got enough to make a fire. That's something that's very, very important. So I'm going to make this trap. I can still make a fire. Let's get this trap. I'm going to put this over a bunny hole. Get out of it, bunny. I'm going to put it right there. Nope, that's a bad place. He might run into that. No, he didn't. Poop. Okay, we're just going to leave it there for a minute. Oh, some rocks. I shall pick up some free rocks. Oh, a graveyard. Okay, so what I can remember from graveyards is, uh, one, we need a shovel. Let me make a pick quickly. We will need a shovel to dig up those graves, but we can get some really good stuff from these. But it's going to drop our insanity down incredibly. Now, this is nitre. This isn't what we want. This is... Oops. Hey, get off the seeds. I want the seeds. Uh, nitro is no good. I don't really know what you use it for. I haven't looked through the recipe yet to, to see what that's for. I don't really remember it back on old school Don't Starve. Um, but it's um, it's going to be interesting. I, I'm i nervous. I think we're doing okay. I'm pretty confident at the moment, but we haven't had really any problems running into things that we shouldn't be running into. I'm keeping a good eye on the time, just grabbing what food we can while I've got time. We've still got enough for a fire, don't we? Plenty. Oops, I didn't want to pause. I keep doing that. Um, hmm. Another coastline. What's this? It's so dark, I'm struggling to see. Ah, there's another rock here. Another couple of rocks there, and a rock on the floor. Just going to have a quick look past it. Some more rocks. 
What have we got on the map here? Something. Aha! This is the rock we want. This is going to have some gold in it. Potentially. Hopefully. And then we can get a science machine set up. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I don't think... I can't carry any more. Can I make a rucksack? I'm going to make a fire here. Um, what do we need for a rucksack? Survival? Nope. Tools? Potentially. No, I think it's a survival rucksack. A backpack. Okay, I need a science machine to be able to carry more stuff. Uh, let's put up, up this flint. Pick up this. Have I got any berries to cook? I do. Let's cook all of these berries. That'll give me some more inventory space to pick up that gold. And then we'll be able to build a science machine, which will unlock a lot more things for us to be able to build. So, I need to definitely grab that gold while we can. I'm going to plant, I'm going to use pine cones as a fire fuel in here. Get that a nice fire. Whoa! Did you hear that thunder? Whoa, that struck right there. It struck that sapling. We need to be careful of that. Okay, we'll pick these up while we can. Now, they don't stack into stacks of six, uh, 64, unlike Minecraft again. Uh, I think they go up to stacks of 32 or something like that. My sanity is dropping insanely, man. That is a ridiculous amount. Um, that might be because of the biome that we're in. We're not in a very friendly, green, grassy, flower-surrounded island. Um, so, yeah, that could be possibly why we are getting hungry again. So I'm going to eat some of these berries. Keep my stomach nice and full. We'll also regain health very slowly. We took way too many silly da silly damage towards the beginning of the game with those spiders. We haven't had nothing too terrible happen to us so far, which I'm very glad about. It's nice to have a first episode where I can just sit down, relax, and explain to you guys what the game is sort of a about. Um, Advil? Um, otherwise, because if we got attacked and stuff, it'd make it very difficult. Ashes, I don't need those. Drop those. Okay. Let's have a look through while it's night time at some more survival stuff. Compass, straw vault, healing, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Umbrella, we don't need that. A bug net, fishing rod. In the science stuff, there's only science machine, alchemy engine, thermal measure, rhino meat, a lightning rod. I don't know any of that stuff. And then we've got some armor here. We definitely need a science machine ASAP. But I don't want to set up here. I'm not happy with being here. Um, our, our insanity isn't going down in the daytime here. But it's not going up either. And we really wanted to go up in the daytime. Otherwise we are going to have a bad day. So keep a reminder here. We've got... Oh, we left our... Uh, we left our thingy there. Look. Um, our trap. Oh, poop. Oh, well, I'll just have to make another one. Okay, remember that there's a load of rocks here. Because that'll come in very, very handy. There's loads of these gold ones about. That tree looks very evil. Examine spiky tree. Oh, some more gold. Oh, pigs. Okay, so these pigs. Um, another axe. What's this? Pick up crank thing. Tough enough to handle the most intensive experiments. I literally have no idea what this does. I'm going to have to do some research on that ready for next episode. But these these pigs here, um, these will be hostile if we attack them. We could attack them to get food, but we can befriend them and then get them as a follower because they're pretty strong. These flowers here, evil flowers, I'm not going to touch because I think that's going to, yeah, it's already sapping my sanity just being there. There is an axe there as well. I'll remember that if we do get into an emergency time. I pressed M again for map. I'm looking for a nice grass green area to maybe set up a camp. Because there's a lot of rocks around here. A huge amount of rocks. Uh, there's a little bit of a desert. I'm going to have a look this way just slightly while we've got a little bit of time. Uh, before we end off the episode. In fact, we should probably end off the episode here. Oh well. First episode can be a little bit longer, can't it? No, it goes to an goes to a peak there. No, it doesn't. It's, it goes further. Okay, remi remember that. It goes further that way. So many rocks here. This is ridiculous. I'm going back to where our trap is. I think for the moment, that's where we're going to set up a base. Um, maybe somewhere here, possibly. 
And then we're right in the middle of these rocks, which are going to come in very, very handy. Um, if we set up in a grassy area, maybe we'll be able to keep our sanity sort of high. Because if that drops low, if that sanity gets very, very low, we're going to start seeing things. And we don't want to be seeing things. <laughs> Shadows, enemies, uh, things like that. And we'll actually start to go crazy. Uh, this isn't a friendly area. I wanted something that was a little bit more green. Yeah, like, like this. But this isn't a big enough area. <laughs> oh, please, before it gets night time, get somewhere safe. Okay, here are these graveyards that we found. There's some more evil flowers. Some more gravestones. Gold nugget. Yunk. Uh, we could dig these up. We could easily dig these graves up and get some really decent stuff, potentially. What's this? Pick up a miner's hat. <gasps> Woohoo! Oh, it's got a light on it. Oh, it's a hat. Okay, I'm not going to wear that. Um, what can I drop? There's nothing I can really drop. This is where the game gets ridiculously hard. Choosing what we need and what we don't need. Uh, I'm going to put the nighter down here for now. Ah, shoot. We need... Oops. We need straw. Desperately before night time. Otherwise, we're not going to make a fire. There's another pickaxe there. We've only got 9% on this one. I maybe should have picked that up. We desperately need just a little bit. Okay. Um, ah, uh, poop. Poop. Put them down. Uh, this is called a wormhole. We'll actually teleport. It's like, like a, uh, a real wormhole, if you like, in real life. We'll actually sort of teleport to a completely different place on the map, somewhere completely random. I need some straw. Ah, there's some up here. I just saw a little tiny bit. Okay. Okay. Where are we? We're right up here on the map. Just have a look up here. Nope. Dead end. Dead end. No good for us. We do now have enough stuff to make another small fire. But we're running out of stuff very, very quickly. Now we know where that wormhole is. It might be worth going through that. The Pig King. Ew, he's smelly. I bet he is. I have no idea what he does. But there are a load of pigs around here. And you know what? It's not a bad place to set up camp for tonight. Because <laughs> these guys will protect us. Um, they will protect us very, very well. Oh, a load of flowers. Oh, night time. They're all running home. This pig place is huge. Okay, definitely setting up camp right here. No problem, no qualms whatsoever. Right here, I think, in the middle. I'm going to set up a permanent fire here as well. Just so we can start it up easily. And we are going to leave it there for this. Pick up the nugs. We are going to leave it there for this episode, guys. Look how much we have to eat every day. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button for me. I really do appreciate it, especially on a new series like this. There's a spider on my wall in real life, and I'm very, very scared. <laughs> I hate them. Um, I really do appreciate any likes that we get on a new series. I, I've got so much planned uh, for the channel this year. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Oh, yeah, by the way, this hat, this will give us light while we go along. But it has a durability. And when it runs out, it runs out. We'll go through some of the other stuff that we can wear and stuff like that next episode. Okay, guys. Bye.